Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find derivative of cos square ax by using first principle, right? So here we have to write down this f of x is equals to cos square of ax, where this a is constant, right? Now we know that what is the first principle for finding derivative. Yes, by using this first principle formula, we can find derivative of this f of x and this is given by this limit h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x upon h, right? So, here we have to find derivative of cos square of ax. For this we need this f of x plus h, right? We have to put this value of f of x plus h and f of x. So from this one, f of x plus h is obtained by replacing this x by h. So here we have, this is the value of f of x plus h which is we have to put here. So here we have this is cos square of ax plus ah minus f of x is cos square of ax upon h, right? Now, we have to evaluate this limit. That means we have to put this limit h is equals to 0 here. Now, here we can check that when we put h is equals to 0 here, we get cos square ax minus cos square ax. That means this numerator gets 0 here. Similarly, this denominator gets 0, right? That means to get finite limit, we have to do some adjustment here. We have to do some algebraic calculation so that we will get finite limit, right? Now, here we can check that here we have, yes, we can check that here we have two cos square terms, right? That means this may be is of this form, right? a square minus b square. We can have, yes, we can write this is as a, this a minus b into a plus b, right? Similarly, we can write here, yes, we can apply this formula here. So, by treating this is as a and this is as a b. So, here we have, this is cos of ax plus ah minus cos of ax, right? And this is, this is we have write down a minus b. This is in one bracket and in second bracket we can write this is as a cos of ax plus ah plus cos of ax, right? This is in second bracket, right? Yes, we have applied this formula here. Now let's check by putting h is equal to 0 here. When we put h is equals to 0, we get this cos of ax minus cos of ax. That means this get cancelled. And when we put h is equals to 0, yes, this is doesn't get cancelled, right? That means we can put limit here, right? And when we put limit, this get 0, right? That means again we can do some adjustment here. Yes, by treating this is as a, a and this is as a b here, we have this is cos of a minus cos of b and we know what is this cos of a minus cos of b? Yes, this is given by this factorization formula. This is here minus of 2 sine of this a plus b by 2 into sine of this a minus b by 2, right? Yes, this is cos of a minus cos of b. We know this factorization formula. So, we can apply this formula for this one here. So, here we have this is minus of 2 into sine of this is as a a and this is as a b. So, here we have this is ax plus ah plus ax by 2. Yes, we have applied this minus of 2 sine a plus b by 2 into sine of a minus b that means ax plus ah minus ax upon 2 right 
and we will write this is as here this is cos of ax plus ah into cos of ax this is here plus right now yes next we can simplify this is here Yes, we have done simplification of this is next year. Yes, by using algebra of limits, we can apply separately limit to this one and this one, right? So here we have this is limit h tends to 0. We can write this is 1 upon h to this term. This is here we can write this minus 2. This is outside. So here we have this is minus 2. This is sin yes again we can do the simplification so here we have this is ax plus ah by 2 into sin of ah by 2 right first we have given limit to this one second to this is here limit h tends to 0 this is cos of ax plus ah plus cos of ax this minus to this is as it is next year we can check that here we have a limit of this 1 upon h into sine of this function and sine of this function right when we put h is equals to 0 we get here sine ax and this is here we get sine 0 right sine 0 is 0 right that means we can multiply we can this one give this 1 upon h to this here we have to give 1 upon h to this sign so that we can apply this formula. This is limit x tends to 0 of this sign x by x. This is 1 here, right? We can apply this limit by giving this 1 upon h to this one. So here we can write this is limit h tends to 0 by giving limit to this is here limit h tends to 0 we have here sin of a h by 2 this 1 upon h to this one so here we have this is h now yes we can put limit here limit h is equals to 0 that means here we have cos of a x plus 0 right and this is cos of a x yes so here we have this is minus 2 yes now let's put h is equals to 0 here so here we have this is when we put h is equals to 0 we get sine of ax plus 0 right now we have to put limit here h is equals to 0 this gets 0 by 0 form right that means here we have to do adjustment so that we can apply this formula so here we have this is sine of a h by 2 right so we have to adjust this a h by 2 here here we have only h we have adjust a by 2 that means here we have to multiply this is by 2 by a right and this is here we have cos of a x plus cos of a x that means this is twice cos of a x right yes so here we have this is minus 2 sine of ax right and limit of this one yes this is 1 here and this denominator here we have this is 2 by a this is 2 into cos of ax right so we can do the simplification of this is here this gets shifted so here we have this is a by 2 this is 2 into cos of ax right so this 2 this to get cancelled so here we have this is minus 2 sine of ax into a into cos of ax so we can arrange these terms to get the derivative of cos square of ax this is as here this is minus 2 into sine of ax into cos of ax 
into a right and this is the derivative of cos square of ax where a is constant that means by putting any value of constant we can find its derivative So we have find, yes we can write this is again as this derivative of cos square of ax. This is minus 2 into cos of ax into sin of ax into a. Yes, this is the way to find derivative of cos square of ax. This is the derivative of cos square ax which we have find here and this is given by minus 2 of cos of ax into sin of ax into a. This is the way to write down this derivative. Yes, we have arranged this term here, right? We have write down this is minus 2 into cos of ax into sin of ax into a. If we have to find derivative of cos square of tan x, so what is its derivative? This is minus 2 into this is cos of tan x into sin of tan x into tan. Yes, this is the derivative of cos square of ax. So, yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.